I just came back from holiday. This is my cat. He missed me. Hey. But here we have my new guitar. And it's the Giordano Horny. It arrived while I was on holiday. And it went to my in-laws. And I just picked it up. And we're going to unbox it. Here's a knife. I never did an unboxing on my channel. So this is first. This is really hard to do with one hand. I always see Danish Pete do this with one hand and I gotta ask him how he does it. So we're just gonna do the unboxing now first and then a little later in this video I'll get to how this guitar came to life. Oh man, <laughs> I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. <laughs> Here we go. So this is going to be the color reveal. Uh, Nicholas Giordano, he um, documented the whole build. And uh, once he sprayed the color, we uh, started sharing photos of the build progress in black and white so the color would still be a secret hang on let me get this plastic off and i'll be right back Ooh, look what i found in the box as well Tarali. i love this italian snack time thank you nicholas look at that giordano guitars oh, ho, ho, ho. here we go number one And is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yes, here we go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's TV. Shell pink. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow, this looks so good. <laughs> it's got the eggplant inlay. It's so brilliant. Oh wow. Jesus. What a guitar, what a guitar. Oh man. Oh, it's super lightweight. Incredible. All right, enough unboxing. I'm, uh, well, not now, <laughs> but in a few days I'm going to shoot the video, the remaining part of the video for this. But now I'm going to plug this in and enjoy it. Look, it's got a master volume. Oh my god, what a beautiful, beautiful guitar. I'll shoot some more detailed shots of it. But now I'm going to really, really enjoy myself. Holy shit, I've been looking forward to this for months. And I can't believe it's finally here.
about four or five months ago, maybe my buddy Leonard from Germany, Leonard Dalison. If you're on Instagram, you probably know him because he's an amazing player and a wonderful human being. He got a Giordano S-Type guitar, beautiful Fiesta Red, and it looked amazing. So I asked him about it and he said it was the best S-Type guitar he had ever played. It looks and sounds and feels like a vintage guitar. And I just sold my Red Strat. I had a really, really nice Fender custom shop. Uh, Dakota Red 50 Strat, which was a beautiful guitar um, and it played really well, but sound-wise it just wasn't really there no matter what I did to it, put different pickups in it. Tried a lot of stuff, uh, but that was the kind of guitar I didn't really click with, so uh, it went to a new owner. So I had some money to spend. So I was intrigued, uh, so I reached out to Nicholas, Nicholas Giordano, and we started talking and we hit it off right away. He's an amazing guy, and uh, when there is a connection on a personal level, it makes working together so much easier. Uh, but then there is the problem of having a custom guitar built, because you can try it before you buy it. And I tend to, well, I don't tend to, I always, play a guitar before I buy it and usually one chord is enough and you play the chord and then you just know okay, well, this is gonna cost me a lot of money. So um, that's just not possible with having a custom guitar build so I was a little bit hesitant um, but I saw the photos of his work, I heard how enthusiastic Leonard was, uh, Sean from Edge of Breakup in the US ordered an S-Type as well and he was super excited as well. So I decided to take the plunge and uh, start a build with him. And I didn't know back then what it would be, but I quickly decided it needed to be this kind of body shape because I didn't have a guitar like this. And we're not gonna name the body shape. It's usually known for, for obvious reasons. Yeah, so, it became this fantastic guitar. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen the photos in my stories um, from the build process. So spec-wise, I quickly settled on dual humbuckers and Sunbear pickups provided these, uh, these pickups. They're his 57 SB PAF set and they are open and really low output. And it almost sounds telly-like, it's amazing. So I forgot to mention two things about this guitar when I was filming this, so let's make this a fun fact round. Fun fact number one, uh, the guitar is called Horny because it has horns. 
And I did an Instagram poll where you guys could choose between pointy and horny, and it became horny, obviously. <laughs> and fun fact number two, I asked Nicholas if he could spray a little amber inside this cavity, uh, transparent amber lacquer uh, to mimic nitrocellulose lacquer aging, uh, so we could see what it would look like. And he came back with this. So I placed the piece of tape in the cavity so you can see the color underneath. Hmm, that's quite a difference. So there is a permanent nitrocellulose penis inside the cavity. <laughs> that is why I love Nicholas so much. So when it comes to specs, I get, um, if I can choose from everything, <laughs> I get option paralysis and a real pain in the ass. Uh, but luckily Nicholas was very, very patient with me and uh, knew how to work with me. So that was a big plus. And um, um, yeah, it, it, the color was a, was a big thing because I really like the classic look. So initially I thought, well, it's, it has to be cherry. Uh, but then I thought, well, Pelham Blue is fantastic as well. Uh, especially when it's kind of aged and it turns almost green. But my Strat is Lake Placid Blue aged, which has turned green. And I have a green Telecaster, so I uh, thought, well, it's going to be green overkill. Um, then TV colors were super interesting, but then I thought, well, make it shell pink. And we settled on this fantastic TV shell pink. And as as far as I know, there aren't any TV shell pink guitars out there, so that is really, really cool. For the bridge, um, initially I wanted like this tailpiece, uh, which comes with the uh, tremolo thing system, but the tremolo system is terrible, uh, super unstable, goes out of tune. I've never played an SG with uh, a tremolo system like that, that stays in tune for more than a couple of songs. Um, so then we settled on, let, let's just do the tailpiece and um, it'll just look like that. But then I thought, well, that's super stupid because it doesn't have any function. So then Nicholas said, well, we can do a rap tail. And we went for a rap tail. So it kind of has a bit of a junior vibe and the bridge is made by Kiss My Strings. They make fantastic tremolo systems and bridges, stop tails, whatever. Uh, if you're in need for something like that, go check them out. Um, yeah, and other than that, it's just, well, your run-of-the-mill horny guitar. <laughs> uh, Rosewood fretboard. Oh, and then Nicholas suggested, do you want an eggplant inlay? Um, so initially I thought he meant at the 12 frets. So I was like, no, I don't want an eggplant inlay at the 12 fret. But then usually these kinds of guitars have crowns here. So I was like, oh, do you mean on the headstock? He said, yeah, on the headstock. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. So now it has an eggplant inlay <laughs> on the headstock, which is totally, totally awesome, I think. Um, there is this one guitar like this that had a master volume here so so he put a master volume there so i can can, tr can control it with my pinky like this which is brilliant i think almost feels like a strat when i play it uh super super easy to play stainless steel frets um yeah it's set up to perfection i took it out of the case um and it rang and it plays like butter and the neck is just so so smooth and um, you really roll those finger fingerboard edges off nicely so it feels like a, like a really old guitar and his aging looks fantastic those finished cracks are a beautiful thing to look at so I am very 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 happy with my new guitar day <laughs>
All right, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you want to see more of my videos. Uh, and also make gem tracks and tabs for my micro lessons on Instagram and those you can find on my Patreon page. Bye.